Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's Toolbox Safety Topic Subject. Before we get started, make sure that you give me that thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified of any new video releases. Also be, be sure to share this video with people on the job site or other people that you think might use it and feel free to comment down below on this video or if you'd like to see some other video made. Well, let's go ahead and get started. When we talk about the heartbeat of a construction site, we often think about towering cranes, the roar of heavy machinery, and the rhythmic pounding of hammers. But amidst this orchestrated chaos, there is a silent hero, one that powers our tools, illuminates our workspaces, and connects us to the very lifeblood of our project, the humble extension cord. Now you might think, what's the big deal about extension cords? They're just wires, right? Well, wrong. Extension cords are like lifelines, and like any crucial component of our construction arsenal, they demand our respect, attention, and adherence to safety standards set forth by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA. Let's first talk about selection. Not all extension cords are created equal. On a construction site, durability and reliability are non-negotiable. That's why OSHA mandates that extension cords used in construction settings must be rugged, weather resistant, and suitable for harsh environments we often find ourselves in. Look for cords with heavy duty jackets. Now, hard or extra hard usage must be labeled on the jacket. Make sure they have reinforced plugs and insulation rated for outdoor use. Don't settle for flimsy cords designed for light household tasks. Invest in cords specifically engineered to withstand the rigors of the job site. Now let's talk about gauge. Picture extension cords like arteries in the human body. Just as arteries transport vital nutrients and oxygen to our organs, extension cords carry power to our tools and equipment. Just as clogged arteries can lead to disaster, Using the wrong gauge extension cord can spell trouble on a construction site. Now, OSHA regulations dictate that the gauge of the extension cord must be selected based on the length of the cord and the electrical load it will be carrying. Too thin a gauge and you risk voltage drop, overheating, and potential fire hazards. Too thick and you're wasting resources and hauling around unnecessary bulk. Consult the National Electrical Code and Manufacturer's Specifications to determine the appropriate gauge for your application and never compromise on safety. Now, let's not overlook the importance of inspection. Imagine a frayed extension cord as a ticking time bomb waiting to unleash its destructive power. Regular inspection of extension cords is not just a recommendation. It's a fundamental responsibility. OSHA mandates that extension cords be visually inspected before each use for signs of damage, wear, or deterioration. Look for cuts, abrasions, exposed wires, or loose connections. Any cord exhibiting these warning signs must be taken out of service immediately and either repaired by a qualified professional or replaced. Remember, it only takes one compromised cord to spark disaster, so don't take chances. In conclusion, extension cords may seem mundane in the grand scheme of construction, but make no mistake, they are indispensable lifelines that demand our utmost attention to safety and quality. Select the right cord for the job based on ruggedness, gauge, and suitability for the environment. Inspect them diligently and never hesitate to retire a cord showing signs of wear. By honoring these principles, we not only protect ourselves and our colleagues, but ensure that the heartbeat 
of our construction sites continue to pulse with power, reliability, and unwavering safety. All right, boys and girls, that's it. Now, the reason I made this video is I got a call from a guy the other day and he wanted to know what, what gauge wire to use. Well, here was the questioning. What kind of work are you doing? How long is the run? And then what does your EHS call for? Or, or what does the uh, contractor's E and H call for? It, it, it's all it's all it, it, different for different applications. Most companies that I'm aware of require a 12 gauge wire rated for hard or extra hard use. This way, there's no guesswork. Normally, no guesswork. The only time it would come into call is if you have runs of greater than 100 feet. Anyway, that's it for this week. Make sure that you give me that thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be notified of any new videos that are released. Make sure that you share this video with your coworkers and, and associates. And feel free to comment too. Make, make your comments down below if you something you want more on this subject or if you'd like to see me make a video on another subject, just leave that down in the comments. Well, that's it. I'm going to call it quits on this one. As always, have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next one.